Hey friends, I've missed you guys. I've been so busy, but today I am back to show you how I create my signature fro. Stay tuned. I'm so excited because today I'm teaming up with Uncle Funky's Daughter to bring you this video. So Uncle Funky's Daughter is a vegan friendly product line that includes cleansers, conditioners, moisturizers, curl definers, and stylers. And they use renewable plant resources such as aloe, shea butter, coconut, and olive oil. They are paraben free, sulfate free, and overall junk free. And they don't have any animal testing. So this is a product line that's not only good for the environment, but it's also good for you and your hair. I've worked really hard to maintain the integrity of my channel and to not bring you guys any fluff so it's really nice to work with a brand that I actually believe in so what you see right here is my hair wet down and split into half so we can get into the cleansing process so today I'm going to be using the bye bye build up cleansing conditioner which is essentially a co-wash and so the key ingredients are rassle clay avocado oil and organic aloe vera so I applied it to the ends of my hair as well as to the roots and what you see me doing right now is just finger detangling to make sure that the product is evenly coated throughout the hair So now we're going to jump in and do the other side of my hair in the same exact way, finger detangling the product through. What I loved is that it had a really nice slip as well as a nice light natural fragrance. And this product is supposed to detoxify the hair and define the curls and it did just that. After rinsing off the cleansing conditioner with lukewarm water, we're now going to go in with the Heal and Renew Intensive Hair Mask. This mask is created to strengthen hair and reduce breakage. Its key ingredients are silk protein, organic aloe vera, and baobab and avocado oil. Just like I applied the conditioning cleanser, I'm going to saturate my ends with the product and finger detangle all the way to the roots, making sure I coat and cover each and every strand of hair. I'm then going to go in and add a plastic cap and let it sit for about 10 minutes. And while I'm letting it sit, I got to scroll social media for my daily dose of positivity and mess. All right, so before we get into the styling process, I just have to show you my curls. Like they are so soft and so hydrated and so defined. I am in love, guys, in love. We're almost at the best part of the video, which is the twisting process, but we're gonna start off with Thirsty Curls, which is a leave-in curl revitalizer. This helps to revive the bounce in frizzy and fallen curls. And the ingredients in this product are coconut milk, chamomile, comfrey, sage, and nettle. I'm just gonna spray it all over the hair and make sure it's nice and coated. I'm gonna go in and separate my hair into two sections, this time separating the front from the back of the hair. For the perfect twist, I like to use a little bit of a gel as well as a butter. So what you see right here is the Curly Magic Curl Stimulator and it provides firm hold, shine, and curl definition. And it has organic aloe vera, nettle, marshmallow, and chamomile. It's not too sticky and it's not too thick, but it did give a nice moisturizing hold. So to cocktail with the Curly Magic, I'm going to be using Super Curl, which is a miracle moisture cream. It helps to hydrate and it helps to stretch dry curls. So it has coconut oil, shea butter, soybean, and olive oil. And it's like a nice thick butter, but more on like the lotion. It's in between like a lotion and a butter, I would say. But nice and thick, as you can see, no drippage. But instead of having to constantly dip into the Super Curl jar and pump Curly Magic, I decided to make a nice little cocktail in the lid of the Super Curl easy effective and it helps to avoid with wasting product so now we are going to start with the back half of my hair we're going to section out a nice size row to get started with the twist so each row i do about mm, three or four twists so i'm going to get a little bit of that cocktail on the hair make sure it's nice and coated and then i'm just going to twist it down simple easy two strand twist you can do braids you can do twists you can do band two knots what i liked about the product is it didn't sit on the hair too much it really did evaporate into the hair once i get it twisted down to the end i just add a flexi rod and that's that's pretty much it you can use a perm rod you can use no rods that's totally your call what i love about using rods with my twist out is that sometimes twist outs can come out funky you have high hopes of what they're supposed to look like and it just don't do that in the morning so with the rods at least those on the end allows it to have a more uniform and defined look 
So here I'm just showing you a comparison of my growth in the last two years. I just passed my two year Big Chop anniversary and I'm really excited. And I also have my annual post Big Chop straightening and trim and all that good stuff. Chit chat, get ready with me life update video coming soon. So stay tuned for that. This is what it looks like when it's all set and done. I have about 12 twists in the back. As you can see, the product has penetrated the hair really nicely without sitting on top. So we're gonna go in and work with the front half of the hair. We're gonna detangle always starting from the ends and working towards the root. And then I'm gonna section off a row to do my first twist. We're gonna get some of that cocktail as you can see. And we're gonna add that to the hair, ends to roots, always working upward. And then we're just gonna twist the hair down. The front half of my hair, I do flat twist. The reason that I do flat twist in the front is because I like the front of my fro to go forward. And you kinda wanna start to direct the hair where it's going. So if you wanted your hair to go back, you want to twist it back if you like it forward in your face you want to twist it forward so that it's already in motion and you don't have to do a lot of like fighting with your hair to get it to do what you want it to do I did about one, two, three, four, five, five twists in the front, 12 in the back. Took me maybe 30 minutes at that. So I'm gonna put on my satin bonnet and I'm about to get ready for bed. So I'm gonna see y'all in the morning for the takedown. So now it's time to take it down. We're just gonna unravel it with the rods. Take all the rods out. Gently, you don't wanna tug at your hair too hard. And then I'm just gonna break the twist apart. So I try not to get it too frizzy. I personally like a little bit of frizz um, because I prefer my day one hair to look like day three hair and then my day three hair is just the bomb. So after we separate the hair to our desired shape, we're gonna go in and just get it to our desired size. And that just requires, you know, just separating some more, picking at it some more, and that's pretty much it. And y'all know my favorite part of any video was putting on some clothes and some hoop earrings to see how fly it really is, making some cute faces and blowing you guys a kiss. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to thumbs it up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you check out Uncle Funky's daughter. They have some really amazing products for us kinky, curly, and coily girls. I'll put their website down below in addition to all the products that I use. And if you check them out, make sure you tell them Nira sent you. Bye!